I just wanted to clear up a little bit of confusion on my toilet paper holder that I left out of my videos. I only needed a half second shot and it would have made it all clear as to this is what I use. It's just one of those little store-bought spring-loaded jobs and so well it'll set in like that and the holes that I made obviously are for this size. They come in different sizes so you'd have to make your holes differently and so then it just squeezes in like that. That's all it is. <laughs> well, I'm trying a, diff a whole bunch of different ways to get this old glazing out of here. This was put in in 1955 when the house was built, so it's like concrete, and it's really hard to get out of there. I've tried chisel, I've tried you know a stiff putty knife, I even tried my Dremel tool, uh, but I think it's a lot of hard just labor getting it out. The problem is, is when I'm punching this out, it's actually breaking this glass it's kind of mangling <laughs> so this is the hard part so you can see this is all that old glazing in there man it's just as hard as a rock and this is where i've been chipping it away and you know the glass is just falling apart <laughs> so yeah one of the joys of having an old house but i think when i replace this I'm going to use lead paint and seal it off with some asbestos too. <laughs> I picked up my pane of glass yesterday. I had a piece cut over at the glass shop. This is it behind this, uh, behind this paper here. But when I went to the glass shop, I took them a little piece of the broken glass. <laughs> it's so old, they said, uh, they looked at it and they said, well, we don't even sell glass this thin. <laughs> so I actually have thicker glass now, so it should be able to, you know, take those hits from those one bounce balls. <laughs> Well, I got it almost all cleaned out there. That was a lot of work getting that glazing out of there. But now I get to take a break and head up to Petaluma and see a matinee performance of Romeo and Juliet in which Wyatt is playing Mercutio. Oh, then I see the Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman drawn with a team of little atomies. Did you notice the new haircut? <laughs> I conjure thee by Rosalind's bright eyes, by her high forehead and her scarlet lip, by her five foot straight leg and quivering thigh, and the domain that there adjacent lie. Well, that was a rather body moment. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I got home from... <laughs> Look, the... <laughs> well, I got home from the performance yesterday. It was a really good performance and decided to go ahead and put the window in. I didn't know how long it was going to take me and it was really surprisingly easy to put it in. The only thing is I ran out of that goop. I didn't get enough. So I got to run up to the hardware store and get a, another can of glazing. I've been going to Peeney Hardware for about 10 years now and Every Sunday, I have to either call them or look them up online and figure out what time they open. I will never remember that they open at 9 o'clock on Sundays. <laughs> well, here we are. This is Peeney Hardware, the best hardware store in the world. Well, I ended up using almost an entire second can of that stuff. It took a lot of glazing to fill it in, but uh, all I did is pushed it in there and then, you know, I used a putty knife to just scrape all the way down and smooth it out. And I think it looks pretty good, you know. I mean, obviously it's not a professional job. I've never done this before, but hey, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, the other thing I did is I bought this. This is a glazing tool, which I found to be utterly useless. <laughs> so if you're ever going to do windows, I don't see the need for the glazing tool. But another thing I noticed on my windows is this. The glazing is all coming off of all of the other windows. So <laughs> I don't really know if I want to tackle that job, at least right now. <laughs> And thus ends the saga of my broken window. And if I could come full circle and relate this to woodworking, uh, in woodworking, we are always challenging ourselves to f solve problems. And woodworking is great because it not only teaches you how to solve woodworking problems, it teaches you how to think in a problem-solving mode. And so you don't just automatically call somebody to fix a problem. You figure out a way to do it yourself. So, you know, that window, it cost me $30 for the glass, maybe $12 in materials, and I just had to learn how to do it. I'd never done it before. All the information is out there. Just Google this stuff. Nothing you do around the house, plumbing, electrical, minor repairs, is 
you know, really that difficult, and it's not that hard to do. So save yourself some bucks and try fixing some fixing things yourself. All right, I'll talk to you later.